Using more fuel-based vehicles is making the air quality worse. It's having impact on the health. It's having environmental impacts. So electric vehicles are more sustainable than fuel-based vehicles, but what we have to realize is that if we are moving towards a situation where all of the vehicles are electric, the sustainability of that movement will depend on how those EVs are powered. So right now, the electric vehicles that do exist, they're charged by plugging it into the sockets of your own houses. But if everyone starts doing that, the load on the grid will increase and the utilities will have to burn more fossil fuels to power those electric vehicles and to meet that electric demand. At Energo Labs, we are blockchain developers. We are creating a software that has a network of all of the EV charging stations in the country. And on the app, you can see who owns the charging stations and how it's powered. So where is the energy generated from that you will use to charge your e-vehicle? The ultimate goal of the project is everyone should have solar panels, everyone should be using electric vehicle. Enabling these electric vehicles to use energy that's locally generated right next to them and generated by their neighbor, they can use that. I think with sustainable business ideas, it's important that you're very persistent in your idea. So it's going to be a tough fight to convince everybody to get on board. If it has a lot of impact on the future and on the environment, then you need to just keep pushing through. I think as an entrepreneur, it's very normal to have cycles where you have very good days and you have very bad days. In those very bad days, it's important to have a good support system. There are times when you are going to want to give up, but having someone remind you of why you started in the first place is very important in entrepreneurship. I'm Latika, and I'm using blockchain to power electric vehicles with solar energy.